Okay, guys, welcome back. So we're going to start getting into some of the fun stuff now. So, straight away, I'm going to pop out a core with X and name it whatever it wants to be called. I'm going to push R and jump into core, press space for build mode, and we're going to be doing the cannon block today. So first of all, I will be showing you uh, how to create them, all right? And we're going to be dealing with the cannon computer and the cannon block today. So if I just quickly run down to my factory, these are standard items. So if I go to production and just type cannon, you've got cannon barrel and cannon computer. The computer is the more expensive of the two. If we look at it, it needs 500 Hital capsules and 1000 crystal composites currently. We are playing in 0.1885. And if we now change this over to cannon barrels, if I can and hit the drop down, cannon barrel, okay? And we'll look at the recipe for this one. It's 50 Hital capsules and 100 crystal composites. So obviously you're gonna wanna keep your crystal, your Hital capsules, they're very valuable there if you wanna build your cannons. Okay, so with that known, the ID for the uh, computer is uh, six, and the ID for the cannon barrel is 16 if you're going to be using commands or admin. Okay. So, I'm going to jump back in my ship. First thing I'm going to do is press control, left control, and then I'm going to hit the X, Y, sorry, the X, the Y, Z plane. I'm going to hit that there with odd symmetry mode, and this will give me a nice effect once I'm building it. So first thing you do is put the controller down, that is the Canon computer, and you'll notice there's an orange glow around it. That orange glow signifies that this is selected. You can deselect it with C, but you'll want to just leave it, that's auto-select, because we've put the controller down. If we now use the correct block, it will link, as you can see there. So we've got two Canon blocks. All right. Now, the actual damage values are subject to change and the configs are exposed in an XML file inside your data config file in the StarMade installation. You can change them to whatever you want in your single player. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, at the moment, um, I'm just going to make two, okay, just like that. So we've got two cannons. Um, and then I'm just going to show you what they can do. So I'm going to hit T. Sorry. There we go. And Put, drag this down into the hotbar. That's our Canon computer that we've just built. It's got four blocks and all this good stuff. All right, so we're currently inside our little ship here. If I hit double shift, I can actually get a rotary cam, by the way, and it'll stick like this. C levels your ship. You should know by now that WSAD moves you, so strafing. Um, I've actually got no no power, so what I'm going to do is quickly throw down a power reactor behind there and a little thruster module. Okay, got omnidirectional movement in this game, so now this is going to be nippy. Fragile, but nippy. Okay, so we're going to aim at these targets that I've constructed to show the uh, weakness of these weapons. So here we are, I'm going to shoot, press 1, and fire. And the sector is protected, so I can't actually show you any damage here. Just a second, we can show you how to do that as well. So sector, ch mod, and then the current location is 868. And I'm going to go minus protected. There we go, set to false. Okay, so now I can shoot. So there we go, we've got a little bit of damage. It did 10 damage, I think, according to the weapon. And then we've broken a block. So three shots to break a basic block with this size weapon. All right. So if I just keep firing, this is the firing rate of a standard cannon. Obviously, I could build this so that the explosion of the gun isn't right next to my camera. So that seems to have penetrated all the way through in certain areas, nearly. Okay, so maybe um, you just want to use... So yeah, well, let's show you the slave system real quick. Okay, so I'm going to hit C on the weapons computer. I'm going to put another weapons computer on the ship. 
Uh, I need to uh, now push C on that weapons computer. Let's see if we actually did link them properly. So push C on the first weapons computer and V on the new one. Now push C on the new weapons computer and from here we're going to designate the original as the master and the new one as the slave. The slave computer you can use any of the other weapon blocks. It doesn't have to be another cannon, it could have been a missile or any of the others. So at this point what cannon will do is increase the firing rate of your master cannon. Okay. Now if you, it's, it's by ratio, so if I have four blocks here in the master system, I need four blocks here in the slave system, like so. And that will give me the full 100% bonus to fire rate. So I'll just demonstrate that for you now. It doesn't, doesn't change the DPS, just the delivery style. So here we go. So it's not breaking the blocks any quicker or fast, you know, because the, the damage is now weaker per shot, proportional to the rate of fire. So effectively I've got a rapid fire pea shooter right now. So the way to fix that is obviously to add more blocks. So if I select my master system and just add a couple more cannons to it here, one, two, three, and then select my slave and add another couple here, one, two, three, then that will give me uh, a stronger cannon. So now it's got the same power as it did before. So as you can see, that's working quite nicely. It's punching through all the way now. And this is a pretty small gun, and that's because this is the lowest armor of hull in the game. So from here, you're thinking, well, it's a bit, you know. So what do I do if I take this off? If I take some of these away, so I've taken away the amount relative, I've reduced my slave ratio, this is what's going to happen. It's going to change the fire rate and increase the volley damage, but the DPS will remain the same. Okay, so it's just about weapon style. If you want it to fire fast, you control that with the ratio on the slave system with a cannon. Okay, there is a chart available and I'm going to be doing further videos on other weapons combos. So um, give us a comment if there's anything I've missed out or if you have any questions and please like this video if it's helped you out. That is your basic cannon and cannon slave tutorial. Um, and if you wanted me to do a particular combo, just uh, request it in the comments section. I'll be glad to put one out. So there you have it, guys. That's your basic basic setup. Uh, just as simple as C and V. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.